Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our day two of Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. I always say that with a question mark because it just feels like <laughs> feels like more than the second day. How's everyone doing? Richard, Aria, good to see you, good to see you. Jan Eric, hello friend, how are you? If you're joining us for the first time, I'm Kathleen. I'm gonna be your host for this challenge that runs from January 6th. So since Monday to January 17th, we're gonna be working on nine different challenges. So one challenge every morning. Uh, and then by the end of it, you're gonna have some cool new Photoshop skills, hopefully, and an awesome new portfolio piece on Behance, as well as a new community for you to uh, be creative in. Gerard says no spin. Okay, someone called it out, so I have to do it. That's my curse. It's a heavy, <laughs> it's a heavy curse to bear. The host with the most. What's up, Sean? Good to see you, Valdere. Hello. If you are just joining us for the first time, please let us know in the chat that you're new. Say hi, let us know where you're watching from, uh, what you're doing today, what you're doing creatively today. So nice to see you too, Aria. That's so nice to see. Wow, hey, Anna. Valentine, hello. All right, so yesterday we worked on stamps and we were focusing on blend modes in Photoshop. Very simple. We touched a little bit on layers as well in clipping masks. Uh, today we're gonna take it to the next level. We're gonna go from stamps to business cards. <laughs> Just taking a small step up. Um, and for these business cards, we're gonna be working with some filters in Photoshop to alter some text. So we're gonna make a really cool name mark for you, a custom name mark that no one else has because we're gonna make it ourselves. Isn't that amazing? That's the cool thing about being creative. You make it yourself so no one else has it. Okay, so if you do want to join the challenge, it is not too late. You can go to be.net slash challenge slash Photoshop and you will come to this landing page. And here you can register for the challenge if you haven't already, but since I have already, it says chat with the community. We'll talk about that in a moment. Steven says, hi, I love the Photoshop Daily Creative Challenge. I haven't watched them for ages. Good to see you, hello. Good to have you back. We're still here, we're sticking around. 2020 is gonna be a big year for us. What's up, Alberto? All right, and then every day when you come to this landing page, if you register, you will see a new challenge. So yesterday, like I said, blend modes, making stamps, and then today we are doing business cards with filters. Who knows what tomorrow is gonna to be? Who knows, it's an absolute mystery. Um, if you want to join us after the live stream, since it is only 25 minutes, you can join us on Discord. So first you're gonna receive the challenge every day, and then second you can join the community chat to stay informed and connect with others. If you click this link, it's gonna take you to a Discord invite. Uh, Discord's basically a chat server where we can post our work and get feedback in real time. This is what it looks like. I have it on night mode, very, very cool. What's up, Pamela? Good to see you. Made it before you got to the good stuff. Yay, Pamela, just in time. So this is where you can post your works in progress. We already have people posting today's challenge. That is dedication at its finest. So let's see, diagonally, Christina posted hers earlier. She didn't even know what the challenge was, but kind of took a stab at it, and she's honestly pretty close. Uh, doing a little bit of liquify on this molten texture, very nice. We've got Rob. Uh, posting the challenge from yesterday, very nice. We can maybe look at some of yesterday's challenges at the end of the stream, if we have time. What's up, Dimitri? Good to see you. We've got Odile doing the same thing, and Leah uh, also posting a take on today's challenge. Very cool. So if you wanna come join us, do that. The link, uh, if you want that Discord invite, is bit.ly slash PS Discord, capital P, capital S. Super duper easy. It's a great way to stay. Uh, in touch when the stream is over, because it is so sadly short. Alrighty. So back to our landing page. We have our daily live show every day. That is what's happening right now, 9 to 9.25 a.m., but that's gonna be followed by a full day of Adobe Live. So we have a full docket uh, today, and we've switched the streams from earlier in the week, so now we have two new sets of new streams. Right after me, we're gonna have a photography stream. It's going to be great. And then after that, we have a design stream. So you're gonna see a lot of familiar faces. Um, stick around for the rest of the day. And then after you post your work in Discord and get feedback, we're gonna be posting it to Behance. And I'll show you how to do that. Cause we gotta have our portfolios out there in the world. 
Alrighty, so there are some starter files for today's challenge. The way that you get them is you come to this little card right here and click get started. And I always say this, you do not have to use these. This is just what I'm using and if that's a helpful jumping off point for you, perfect. But all you really need to do for this challenge is edit some text and uh, edit it with a filter. You don't have to do exactly what I do, but if you want to, this is where you can download them. Luckily, I already have them downloaded because I made them, <laughs> but this is the template. Arya says these streams are the fastest half hour in my life. Arya, me too. I blink and they're over, and I was talking the whole time. Such is life. All right, if we open this template file, it's similar to yesterday's where we have a couple of smart objects over here. We talked about that yesterday. That's what this icon signifies, and that means that when we double click on this thumbnail, it will take us into a separate file that we can edit. So I'm gonna add some text. Hello, let's see, there's D. Hello D, that's my edit. Gotta add a little bit of letting in here. Not looking very good. Design skills, all right, make that a little bit smaller. That still looks pretty bad, but for <laughs> per, uh, the purposes we need it for, if we go to file, save, and then go back to our other file up here in the tabs, it has now updated. So that's what the great thing about smart objects is. Alrighty, let's undo all of that. Save that again so we have a blank template. All right, so we start here. Easy peasy, we can edit the bottom card and the top card separately. So for the top card, we're going to add our logo mark, our name mark, or our word mark. <laughs> and then on this bottom card, that's where you could lay out your information, like your social handles. So you're basically showing the top of your business card and the bottom. This is a great way to show it off. <laughs> Aria says, did you make that? Did you take a picture of a box? Okay, I didn't take the picture, but I made the template. I added the smart objects and all that good stuff. Of course, D. Steven says, smart objects are warriors. They save work in such an accessible way. I agree. Steven, I'd be interested to hear how you use them in your work. What's up, Daniel? Good to see ya. All right, so let's get started on this actual workflow of editing text. The first thing we're gonna do, jump into this top card by just double clicking this thumbnail. Double click. There we go. Now let's add some text. I wanted to use someone's name from chat. It has to be like three or four, maybe five letters, a shorter name. Um, Anna might be a good option because I want it to fit nicely and fill up enough space. And Kathleen has eight letters in it. It's a lot. <laughs> All right, let's start with Anna. I'm just typing. We've talked about the type tool a couple times. We used it yesterday, but basically you just have to go over here to the T in the T uh, toolbar or the T bar, <laughs> or you can just tap T, and that is the hotkey for it. So there's our text. And then with that text layer selected, we're gonna choose a different typeface. Now I have a couple downloaded from Adobe Fonts. And I'm gonna play with these a little bit. I think I'm gonna use Blenny. Yeah, it has some nice roundness to it. I think it's gonna look good with our uh, texture. Uh, but first, I'm going to actually change these all to be capital letters. Ooh, that looks cool. Nice name, Anna. <laughs> it's Anna, not Anna. <laughs> Jan Eric. Anna, is it Anna or Anna? <laughs> Let me know. Alrighty. Looks good. Maybe a little bit smaller. Perfect. Now, here's where the filters come in. So, we've talked a lot about smart objects. We're gonna make this text layer a smart object so that when we apply our filter, it becomes a smart filter and we can edit it in the future uh, and it won't be destructive for our work. Jan Eric says, I like that font, me too. Blenny is awesome. And if you wanna check out more fonts and you have a uh, Creative Cloud subscription, show you how to do that. You're just gonna come to one of your character panels and click this little Creative Cloud icon. Get more from Adobe Fonts. We'll probably talk about that in a future day. Alrighty, looks a bit sci-fi. It does, Steven. I agree. And that, that'll match with what we're gonna do. So back to smart objects. We're gonna right click on this layer, 
right clicking, convert to smart object all the way up there. Now when I do that, you'll notice that it's not a text layer anymore. But if I were to double click into it, the text is still editable. So I could add someone else's name, like Quays, is that how you say your name in chat? Cool name, but we'll go back to Anna. All right, we got a smart object, so let's add our filter. The filter we're gonna use to make this molten text, kind of liquefied text effect, is the liquefy filter. So if you go up to filter, liquefy, it's gonna open up a whole new dialog on your uh, screen. There's tons of different options for the liquefy tool, but we're just gonna use it for what it does best and just move and smush some pixels around. We're not gonna do any face aware, there's no faces in here. We're just gonna blend some stuff around. So what I really wanna do is just come over here and make sure that my normal smudge or liquify tool is selected. Size is good, density is good, pressure is good. And let's just play around a little bit. So I'm gonna click and drag and you can see the effect taking place. Now it still shows me the shadow of the original image. See those kind of lower opacity areas? That's showing me what the original pixels looked like so I can uh, fix things if I need to. And if I do wanna fix things, you can come in here. Whoops. And push things back the way they were. But let's go back to our smudge. Oh, it's uh, K's. Okay, cool. Awesome name. Jason says, have you seen the movie Anna? It's pretty good. I'm not sure. Tell me about it. All right, let's increase our size a little bit. I did a smaller brush and I'm gonna do a bigger one and just do a little bit of more general movements. Smudge this around a bit. Ooh, I really want these end pieces to really move, really look liquefied. And these front pieces too as well. These A's are perfect for liquefying. Looks pretty good. You can come in here and play all day, pretty much. But since we don't have all day, I'll just do some quick stuff. You can also use this twirling tool. Make your brush pretty big by using the bracket keys or coming over here to size and increasing it. And when I click, it twirls the pixels within. Now if I click and hold option at the same time, it's gonna turn my pixels the other way. It's pretty cool, it's like a, a hurricane or a cyclone. Alrighty, let's see how this looks. Whoa, that's pretty cool. That's a, your own custom name mark for your own custom business card. Now if I were to save this, file, save, Go back to my stack of cards. Whoop. There we go. We have our updated name mark. Very awesome. Feels a little groovy, a little psychedelic. Let's make it even groovier. We're going to bring in our texture. So if you've downloaded that marbly molten texture that I provided in the starter file, you can come to file and place. Where you at place? Place embedded. We can navigate to it. I think it's in my downloads. Yep, there it is. It's cool, right? It's kind of like gold. So you could even imagine these business cards were actually almost printed or sealed with some gold leaf, perhaps. All right, I'm just gonna grab a corner, hold option and size it down to fit. Hit return to commit the changes. Now. This would be cool for a business card if this were like your entire back of your card. That's interesting. But we wanna apply this filter or this texture to the text. So yesterday you got a little bit of a sneak peek of how to do this. I'm gonna come over here to my layers panel. I'm gonna hover between these two layers and I'm gonna hold option or alt if you're on a PC. If you click that, it will clip the top layer to the uh, bottom one. And now this texture is only on the name. If I were to unclip it, you can see that it is now on top of everything. So we will re-clip. You can also right click on it and say create clipping mask, but now it says release clipping mask. So here we go. Create clipping mask, there you go. File, save, let's see how it looks. That's dope, I think. 
pretty sweet. It's a little bit hard to read because these uh, gaps are so small. So we could go back into the liquify filter or even hand paint out and make some of those gaps a little bit bigger. But for these purposes, it works. We could also do the opposite clipping mask. So we can drag it below. And save that, see how that looks. What do we think? Do we like the gold letters or the black letters? I think I like the gold letters, but I'll wait for you to tell me. Let's try it again. Gold letters, black letters. What do we think? What's up, Jesse? Good to see you. Actually, while you're waiting for me, uh, or while I'm waiting for you, I'm gonna take a sip of coffee. Alberto says, add some curves and make it brighter. Ooh, that would make it more easy to uh, read, definitely. Let's do that. We're gonna go to adjustment layers down here. That's what this icon is. When I hover over it and click, we can add a levels adjustment layer. And then our levels panel opens up. Make this a little bit bigger and we can play over here. Now if you grab this one on the left, it's gonna add a little bit more darkness. This one's gonna add a little bit more white. And that's gonna stand out a little bit better on our black business card, I think. All right, let's try that. We'll go to File, Save, see how it looks. It's a little bit better. It's a little too saturated, I think. So let's add a little bit of white and lighten up the shadows a bit. Save. I like that, that's cool. It has almost like a matte look. Gold for sure, says Steve. Ooh, white on gold, let's try that. It's all about playing. All right, remember, since we made this a smart object, we can just double click into this layer, change the text to be white, save it there. Ooh, that's cool. Maybe do that. That is very nice. Christina's idea to bevel it. Yeah, you could totally come in here in the effects panel. Let's go back here actually. Come back here, click on your text layer, go to effects, and you can bevel and emboss it a little bit. Now you might wanna make sure that your colors are a little bit uh, more saturated, I would say. Turn the opacity down quite a bit. Let's try that. Noise. I like it flat though, personally. If you wanna make it look really realistic, yes. Definitely add some bevels and embossing to make it look like it's really popping off the page. All right, let's go back to our original gold letters on the black background. We'll save it. Silver metallic, definitely. Cool, and then if you want to continue designing your business card, you can come here to the bottom card smart filter or a smart object, I should say. Add a little bit of type. Maybe this would be Anna's uh, social handle. You might wanna choose something a little more simple for this part. Let's just say her handle is just Anna. That would be sweet if it was, I doubt it is though. Could drag this in the center. Maybe make the color white. Save it. So that's like the front and back of your business card. That's a really simple business card. I'd probably add a little bit more information and maybe decrease the size a lot. Keep it minimal. Cool. But there you go, you get the idea. So if you design the top of your business card and the bottom using these cool liquify effects, you can then save it. I am going to turn that one off. And I think I'm gonna crop this in for exporting just because we've only designed the top and I don't need to show the bottom. So let's do that. I clicked C, that is the hotkey for the crop tool. Let's do a nice tight crop. Looks good. And we'll get this exported. So file, export, export as, gives us a little bit more control over our file. Once we export, we can do lower quality if we're gonna have it in smaller sizes, but this looks pretty good for what we need. 
export it. We're just gonna plop it on my desktop. Day two, business card. Very nice. Imagine having a simple username like that. I know, it, that would be amazing. I wonder who has it. Which Anna in the world has it? Alrighty, now we could come to Behance and just upload our work immediately, but I wanna get a little bit of feedback first. So I'm gonna go to Discord. I'm gonna come to our current challenge. We are going to upload our image. Now remember in Discord, if you want to share your images, you're gonna to come to current challenge and then come down here to the bottom to this plus. That allows you to upload images. So day two, business card. And I always like to say it's helpful when you ask for specific feedback. So I'm not just gonna post this in the world and say, what do you think? Uh, because it's not very helpful for the people that are gonna be giving you feedback. It's awesome if you can guide them. So personally, I'm not super sure about uh, the color combo. So if it should be gold on black, if it should be maybe another color on black, uh, what other kind of effects could I play with? So let's say, do you think the gold on black is legible enough? Or maybe I should try a different typeface, make it easier to read. Thoughts? Always helpful to end with a question. We're gonna upload it and see what people think. Oh, Aria, who is the Anna on Instagram? <laughs> Let us know. We've got a reaction already from Christina. Thank you, Christina, so nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just upload my work even though I haven't gotten feedback just to show you how to do it. If you do not recall, this is yesterday's challenge. We were designing stamps and then mocking them up on a cool postcard. If we come back to our portfolios, we're gonna hover over the cog icon and click edit in our projects. Maybe warp in the same direction. That's a good idea, Sarah. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. We're going to click this upload arrow to insert our media day two business card. Very nice. There's lots of fun typefaces being used so far. All right, there we go. Now, this is the most important part. If you click on settings and click discover ability, make sure that PS daily challenge is your keyword. You can just type it in like a hashtag. And when you click save, it will be visible uh, via the hashtag on the search. So let's check out our project. There it is, amazing. So if you do want to search the hashtag, on Behance, you just search PS Daily Challenge in the search bar or use my handy dandy little bit.ly. It's bit.ly slash PS Entries. Show you that's how you say it, or that's how you type it. PS Entries, capital P, capital S. And then you can see everybody is from the most recent upload. So we've got uh, Afnan's uploaded most recently, Aurelia's, there you go, very cool. I saw this one on uh, Discord by Carrie, super cute. Love it. This one by Ronald, that's awesome. It looks similar to the cover image that I made. Very nice. Love it, Ronald. Thanks for joining. Okay, so I definitely wanna be seeing some of your uploads throughout the day on Discord so I can give you some feedback. We've got an 100 emoji from three people. That's awesome, thanks, I appreciate it. Daniel says, cool beans. Glad you think so. I really wish I had a little more time to actually play with this liquify effect a lot more and really finesse it to make it look how I want to, but for 20 minutes, it's not bad. Also, I wanna let you know, chat, that there are other channels that you can hang out in uh, until the next stream if you can't get enough. So you can come over here to advice, you can ask questions, maybe career advice. There's lots of people who are just graduating school or trying to make a career pivot and uh, also a lot of people with a lot of experience that can give you some good advice. You can also come over here to introductions and let us know that you're joining, where you're from, what you do, maybe your favorite color. And you can also just come and hang out and chat. Chat about random creative things. Pamela says, great lesson, thanks, of course. So I'm gonna hand over the reins to the photo stream that is coming up next. Uh, make sure you stick around for that. And then I'm, I'm gonna be back tomorrow for day three on Thursday. So keep an eye out for that next challenge in the morning and post your work to Discord. I'll see you tomorrow.
Bye.